It is Mental Health Monday and joining me, out, joining me now is Tony Miller here to talk about the impacts of alcohol and outpatient counseling. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me. So let's just jump right into it. What are the impacts of alcohol and what does outpatients pa meet? Um, so for alcohol, a lot of the symptoms that you'll see are common with misuse. So over drinking will lead to impacts on your liver. Um, it can impact your functioning, impair your thinking, um, which can make it very difficult. Um, eating and sleeping disturbances can also happen. Um, you can also see some trouble with concentrating, focusing, and might have some anxiety and some increased worrying. So um, what kind of, how long does it take to get to these levels and uh, when do you kind of need, need to know when you should kind of look for that uh, help? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you'll start to see problem use more so whenever people are starting to make comments about your drinking or any misuse that you're having. You might be having some more legal issues. Um, often people who are approaching the end of abuse, they might start to um, drink more frequently and the areas of their life are impacted. So work and school or finances are starting to slip. And um, you said it's kind of takes when people start to notice. Um, what's a good way to kind of approach someone about that? Absolutely. I think uh, the biggest thing is just to kind of set a uh, limit for yourself, have friends and family acknowledge like, okay, if this is your limit, if you're drinking more than that, I need you to stop. But if it keeps on happening, maybe we can seek some outside help, talk to your doctor about the effects, or if you need ongoing therapy, seeking other services. And it kind of can be stigmatized um, over alcohol uh, overuse. So what is a way that someone can reach out for help, um, even if they aren't necessarily comfortable doing so? Absolutely. Um, 988 is a great helpline. We have text and call options. Um, you can also contact local agencies for mental health services or for treatment needs. Um, we like to destigmatize it. Um, alcohol use happens and um, increasing in that use and leading towards misuse also does occur. Um, so we want to be here to support people as they need it. All right. Well, is there um, anything that you guys do um, to kind of ease those tensions in the area or uh, what are those programs? Yeah, absolutely. Well, in our local area, um, Full Circle is our residential treatment facility. Um, we offer services to pregnant and postpartum women um, who have um, more severe use and that can include alcohol. Um, they live on on site and they can have their children there. Um, we also have mental health services so they can also kind of work with any co-occurring disorders that might be happening stemming from alcohol use or maybe if that alcohol use is being treated for like, or being used essentially to cope with any of those symptoms, then those can be a support to people and their families. All right, well that sounds like some amazing work that you guys are doing. Thank you so much for joining me this morning.